Rosh Hashanah is right around the corner, and as we head into 5782, my big wish is that this will finally be the year for Am Yisrael. With all the major shifts in the world, including COVID, wildfires, flooding, world governments collapsing, financial systems collapsing, mass shootings, and what seems like a general state of unease and unrest, I've been ever hopeful that all these events are signs of positive changes ahead. Over the past year or two, the world has seemed a bit dark, but remember that this darkness is a very backdrop that allows us to look hard within ourselves and discover our divine spark. Many of us have spent this time doing tshuva, returning to ourselves and to Hashem, and searching for a sense of greater purpose as we prepare, whether consciously or subconsciously, for the new world ahead. If you've been more interested in Judaism and growing spiritually these days, you are not alone. This entire planet is going through a major vibration upgrade, and while I've noticed more people awakening as a whole, I'm excited to see more Jews also undergoing this process in 5782. This year is all about collective energy and embodying unity in a way that's powerful and healing and so moving that it shakes the world. It means being one people, which we haven't really been since Har Sinai, and it means harnessing this collective energy to draw down the light of Hashem and finally return the Shekhinah to the world. Since the beginning of the diaspora, the Jewish people have been busy surviving, building communities, developing customs, passing on traditions, and engaging in the divine process of tikkun in every corner of the world. And through it all, we've become divided and lost so many to assimilation and even atheism that only a few of us remain standing with the mission in mind. So if I have one wish for this year, it's that Am Yisrael will finally reunite and walk hand in hand toward fulfilling its beautiful prophetic mission. But achieving unity doesn't mean losing our diversity or even agreeing to practice Judaism in one way, shape, or form. It means that we agree to be one body that honors every single cell that comprises it. I used to wish that every Jew would be from, and that one day we would all be living this perfectly Torah-centric life, but I've since learned to appreciate that Hashem has carefully planned our diversity and even our division for a reason. I believe that part of that reason is for us to learn the universal lesson of unconditional love and to apply that love to every facet of creation, which includes each and every Jew. As I recite this Shema every day, I am reminded of the work that it takes to love God with all of my heart. But how many of us read these words and don't do the inner work? If you can't fully access your heart, which includes feeling every emotion, and even sitting with the uncomfortable ones like guilt, grief, and shame, letting your heart guide you and actually feeling the fullness of loving yourself, it's impossible to fully honor these words and truly love God with all of your heart. So this is the work, and I'm excited to see it unfolding this year. I believe that this inner work, guided by the words that we recite every day, will naturally bring us toward unity, and that is when things will get really interesting. On my part, I hope this year will continue my own process of healing and transformation. I've only started to catch a glimmer of my inner spark, and I'm excited to see what Hashem has in store for me this year. With that, I want to thank you all for watching, subscribing, and giving me so much love and support in 5781. And I wish everyone a Shana Tova, and that this year will be your greatest and our greatest year yet.